it's a blessing. It's just something. It feels better knowing yeah. where he is. Yeah, After 46 years of not knowing where her baby son Mark was buried, Jean Ryder found out this weekend. Mark only lived for an hour and 10 minutes when he was born in 1978. He was taken from Jean without her ever seeing him and buried in this unmarked mass grave near Oldham. Don't forget, we're in different times. We didn't um, question authority. If they said, you know, Mark's in Wrighton Cemetery, that would, was enough. At least I knew he was in a resting place, but didn't know where. The grave holds 300 bodies, 145 of them stillborn children. Almost 130 are of other children and babies. The rest are adults, given so-called paupers burials. Local councillor Maggie Hurley is among those calling for the government to acknowledge the pain and suffering of the grieving parents who were denied compassion and closure. Now that we've found these mass graves, as appalling as it is that there are so many babies and children in here, there is a, pl a, a positive side to this, that mothers at last know where their children are and they've got somewhere to come. It's shocking and heartbreaking to think that this wasn't something that was happening in the dim and distant past. As recently as the early 1980s, parents of stillborn children often weren't allowed to see their babies or be told where they were buried. They certainly weren't told that they were going to be laid to rest in an unmarked mass grave. The search for the grave was inspired by Gina Jacobs. Two years ago, she found that her son, stillborn in 1969, was taken from her and buried in another mass grave in Wirral. I remember saying, it won't, I want to see him. But there was no letting, we, we couldn't see, we couldn't hold, and, and we certainly couldn't name. And this is so much part of this, where the memory of that precious face has been stolen from us. Campaigners want to see records about the burials computerised to make them more accessible, something the government says the Law Commission is looking into. It could help others like Jean to find where the lost children of their pasts may be buried. Fraser Maud, Sky News, Oldham.